So when you open up your Adobe Premiere project, there still isn't anything in here. So it's kind of hard to show you what these different panels do. But the first thing that we're going to do is create some timelines or sequences so that we can put stuff on them. So it's File, New, Sequence. Note that Control N is the keyboard shortcut. I'm going to use that for the other ones. But here's the first one that we're going to make. First of all, it's going to be called Master. And second of all, let me just close this up and show you where you are likely to start. Whenever you start out fresh in Adobe Premiere, it's going to have this NTSC DV standard, which is ancient. The pixels aren't even square. They're little rectangles. It's very, very strange results when you try and export your video sometimes. So you need to get off of that one. You won't be able to fix it after the fact easily at all. Look for AVCHD. And we're going to be using the 1080p. P meaning progressive, like a flipbook animation. It used to have to be interlaced. Now the 720 is like the standard DVD, and the 1080p is Blu-ray. So we really are taking it up to a very high resolution. So these should look really nice and sharp when you upload them to your YouTube channel. And you can see what the numbers are right here, 1920 by 1080. So there's master. That's my first sequence. I'm going to click OK. And now you can see right here under project, a master timeline. And it opened it up over here as well. Notice that it starts at zero. And there's this thing I call a laser pointer. It used to be red in previous versions. But it's actually the current time indicator. It tells you exactly how many seconds and frames you are. So notice that when we're um, going frame by frame, that that number will go up to 29, and then it flips to one second. It's just like getting up to second 59 in time, and then it goes to one minute. But we work with frames, parts of a second, 30 frames per second. All right, I'm going to hit Control N and create these other ones. So A was places, and then B was, let me move this out of the way snacks and control n c was movies so i've got them listed right here uh, they are in a list form but your default let me do this for just a moment move this out of the way this is the thumbnail view so since there's nothing on these timelines you just see a black box but you can switch back and forth between those two views by using these two icons. I couldn't get to them the way I was uh, before. So let me put that back and show you that when you close these accidentally or on purpose, they're not like gone forever. Every year somebody freaks out because they closed all their timelines and they thought all their hard work was gone. But you just double click on it over here and it opens the timeline back up. Now this is the icon for the selection tool. There are easy ways of accidentally ending up with other tools. So if you see something funny, just make sure you're going back to that. And the other thing that gets turned off is the snap to. It's going to be very handy. I'll show you later on. But always make sure your magnet is on. Now the next thing we're going to do is create that color block that's going to be our warning color. So I'm going to go to File, New. And this is one of the several things that you can make here. But we're going to make a block of color. Just use the default size and just drag it down to the lower right hand corner. This is the color picker for future times when you may need a different color. But everybody's going to use this shade of red for their warning and call it warning color. So now we've got one, two, three, four timelines and one color mat. That's our warning color. The next step is going to be importing that whole folder filled with images. So make sure that you've got that for the next step in this video.